I do. Yeah, How a bummed out beagle. I love beagles. Or a crabby tabby, huh? Thousands of pets, you know, suffer from depression. Yeah, they really do. It's out there. It is a problem. Tonight, uh, Fox H. Christie Steve shows oh, us the many methods to cure them, including the woman who That's claims me. she can talk to your animals. Pet owners can usually tell when their animals are happy. Penny, can I hold May May? And when they're sad. But what happens when a pet doesn't snap out of the doldrums? Some people go to extremes to get them help. He uh, was not eating normally. He was acting aloof. Nee, nee, nee. This way. Tracy Baker has three dogs and a cat. When her previous cat, Kylie, passed away, her dog, Cody, began showing signs of depression. Someone that can really love you, huh? So that's all you're looking for. Tracy turned to Barb Borkowski, an energy healer who'd already worked with some of the horses in a stable Tracy manages. Animals are very in tune with their owners, uh, their feelings. Through touching them, I, it's a transfer of energy, so they feel warm, and it helps them to relax and balances out their energy. The energy wasn't flowing good there. Barb Borkowski says she can communicate with animals and find out what's bothering them. Cody had concerns. Where did the, the cat go? And did the cat do something wrong? My eyes and he was a little wild. He had misbehaved or done something, and we had just gotten rid of her. And he was concerned that if he did something inappropriate, we would just get rid of him. Through energy healing, Barb explained to the dog that the cat had died. Then Tracy had a talk with him. <laughs> She says after she told him he wouldn't be abandoned, Cody's mood quickly rebounded. If we were just a little more open to discussing behavior changes and situation changes that have happened in the household, that communicating those things to each other will clear a lot of those issues up.